In a previous video, we looked at using Microsoft Teams on the Realware HMT1 headset. Uh, well, today we're going to we're going to look at Zoom and see how that works. Um, so, first thing I should point out um, the version of Zoom that I'm going to be running on the device. It, it's quite an early release. There are some limitations, there are some bugs, um, but I'm, I'm going to show you how we can use the uh, the software on the headset um, so that it's really effective. We've we've had lots of interest in um, you know in Zoom on these devices. Obviously, Zoom is huge right now. Um, so being able to run it on this device um, in that sort of remote expert um, situation is really valuable. So a typical use case for this is, uh, let's say someone's on site, they've got the headset with them, um, maybe they're doing an installation work or they're doing a survey, and they've got some remote expert that wants to be able to see everything that they can see uh, whilst leaving the person on site with a hands-free to, to get on and do whatever they need to be doing. So I've got a, um, I've got a headset here, um, and just a reminder, We've got, it's got a camera on the front here, and the camera is pretty much in my eye line. So anything that I can see, um, you know, the, the remote party will also be able to see. It's got a screen, so that's for me, um, just so I can see exactly what, um, you know, exactly what's going on now. Everything I can see on this screen here is actually mirrored up behind me, um, and this is using Real Realware Explorer. So it's just a way that I can wirelessly send the content from this device to this screen. Okay, so if I just pop the device on, <clears throat> and then I just position my eyepiece. Again, I kind of position it down so that I can look across the top of it and work unobstructed. But if I want to glance down to see what's happening on the screen, then, then I can just look down and see it. Okay, and remember, it's voice activated. Um, so my programs. I can see all my applications here that I've got installed. Zoom. And this is the Android version of Zoom. So look very familiar to anyone who's used to seeing it on a phone. Um, so yeah, I can see things like my contacts. So I'm signed into Zoom here. Um, but let's just take a look. Contacts. And I can see my contacts here. And I could go off and I could call them. Um, I could chat with them. Um, meetings. So any scheduled meetings occur here or appear here. And again, I can just join the meeting. Um, meet and chat. And this just takes me back to kind of the, the home screen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just asking one of my colleagues to, uh, to give me a quick call. OK, so here's the incoming call. Accept. Join with the video. Hi, John. Hi, Paul. Okay, so um, so just a quick demo of the call. Thanks, this Paul. Um, so I can change my video view here. So at the moment, I can see Paul, but if I want to also be able to see my you know my own video, then I can just issue the command. So all participants. And now this is a really helpful view in that I can see Paul, so I can be having a conversation with Paul, but I can also keep an eye on the video on the left-hand side, which is what my camera's focused on. Participant. And I can just flip back to the standard view. That's great, Paul. Thanks for that. Just, just a real quick demonstration, but cheers for that. Thank you. Thanks. See you, Jonathan. See you. Okay. All right, so you can see, look, that's that's just a really simple demo. Now, I deliberately had Paul call me then. Um, that's that's what we find the sort of the best way of using this. I mentioned right at the beginning that uh, there are some limitations. If I initiate the call, I can do that. That works absolutely fine. Um, but I, I actually lose some of my controls partway through the call. And that's just to do with it being very early version of the software. We expect that to be sorted out um, you know, very soon. But hopefully you can see it. You know, it's, it's really powerful. Um, I say Zoom is huge, so uh, it gives the product really great reach. Um, and actually, that view where I could see both my video and the remote party video is something that when we were looking at Teams a while ago, I wasn't actually able to do. I could see the default view in Teams is that I can see what the camera's pointing at, but I can't actually see the remote party at the same time. To be able to do both here is, is actually really nice.
But anyway, that's just a just a quick sort of introduction, a quick overview of, of how nicely uh, Zoom works on the uh, on the RealWare headset. Navigate home.